I started to get all excited when I heard that MIT was canceling their DEI requirements. But just down the road, one of the other top schools in the world, Yale, went the other direction and will not even hire you as a professor or a lecturer unless you prove to them that you are in DEI and you've been in DEI and you will teach DEI or they will not consider you for a job. Talk about exclusionary hiring. Wow. Let's start with DEI. It's finally, well, dropping out in some places and being encouraged in others. The some good news is that one of the top schools in the world, MIT, the top engineering school by far in the world, just dropped diversity as a requirement. No. Yeah. It just announced two days ago, uh, DEI statements advanced their declared objections at too high a cost for the university. We were opposed to DEI bureaucracy, and now they are rejecting it. However, when I give you good news, we got to balance it with the yuck news. Listen to this. Yale, which is one of the top schools in the world, and I mean that literally, well, I should say used to be. It dates back to the founding of the country. Here's, you know, one of their main halls, you know, built 200 years ago. Yale has put DEI at the center of everything. You want to be a microbiologist? At Yale, they have a 10-step plan to dismantle systemic racism, all hiring in biophysics, biochemistry, all the faculty are told, quote, place DEI at the center of every decision you make. Oh boy. And listen to this. According to their website, every job advertised on the Yale website links to a DEI rubric that tests candidates' knowledge of DEI and your commitment to promote DEI at Yale. They wanna know your past DEI experiences and activity, your future DEI goals and promotions. What have you done for DEI? They focus on race, gender, sexual orientation, and other categories of marginalization. Applicants, all of them who wanna be a professor or a lecturer will get zero points, get this, zero points if they fill out the survey and quote have no knowledge or awareness about dei do not feel personal responsibility for helping to create an equitable and inclusive environment were never involved in past activities to promote dei and have no goals for promoting dei in other words don't apply at yale because we won't even consider you unless you're a dei woke flunky you know what it doesn't surprise me, but it's good to hear that MIT is like, you know what? We need to go and stick with reality. But Yale doing this, I'm not surprised. Yale is completely woke as well. They're going to they're gonna still try to push it. So, you know, I can only imagine when MIT and Yale get together now in a football game or some kind of sports, at, you know, sports game. They're going to, especially when it comes to the women, the MIT will actually have women on the sports. But then when they look over at the the, the Yale coming into like volleyball or even women's wrestling, you know, they're going to, it's going to be really questionable about the women that Yale presents versus MIT. But DEI, Barry, it is a mechanism to destroy reality. It is a mechanism to destroy what a man is, to destroy what a woman is. And you just need to go along with it. Well, look, we're playing pretend here, but it used to just be playing pretend. We're just acting it out here. It's like a social experiment. But now they're like, you know, no, actually, we want to take it a little step further. We want society to adopt this insanity. Well, well listen to how bad it is. You. If you get zero points, Will, when you fill out the DEI survey, they won't consider you to work there at all in any job. Goodbye. So you've got to not only have plans for the future, you've got to say all that you've done for DEI. <laughs> I I put tampon machines in the in the girls' and boys' restroom. I put 
boys in the locker room. I put boys on the volleyball team. Hey, that's three points out of three, right? If you say no, you're rejected. I don't care if you're in the PhD program or you're wanting to be a lecturer, you want to work there in any job. Goodbye. The whole school's gone woke. It's one yeah. of the top schools in the world. They're going to turn out a bunch of nutballs. Yeah. But I think that's the whole point, the whole agenda. You know, I used to tell people uh, many years ago, I think part of the re part of what we're seeing is them indoctrinating the youth, you know, college, high school, junior high, elementary. They're indoctrinating them. So about time they become to the mature age like we are, they can say that this DEI crap has always been here. This is the way it's always been. Well, I for them, I'm it would be right. Yeah, that's that's my point. Like, you know, I think I mentioned this to you before. Like when I was born, there was airplanes in the sky. So when I look up in the sky, I see the airplane. I'm like, I'm not going, oh, my goodness. What is that? Oh, oh run for the hills. No, I've seen I was born with airplanes in the sky. These people, they want the children born today. And a lot of them have been born with this craziness happening that it's all normal. They were born with it in the world like this. So they want them to get older and to become complete normal. And for you and I, Barry, to say anything against it, that's that old thinking. You're the one that's wrong. The society has changed. We no longer adhere to the laws of physics or reality. <laughs> yeah, you're, you and I, my friend, are dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's Reality no this longer is, exists it's here. It's unbelievable. I mean, I can imagine some goofball college in the middle of nowhere, but you can't get a job at Yale unless you have a background in DEI, you've advanced DEI, and you've got plans for DEI in the classroom. <laughs>